Alrighty, today I'm back and I'm going to be showing how to change the rotation on a two-phase motor. Now, just by looking at the squirrel cage, you can tell that it's supposed to spin this way, but it's actually spinning that way. And here's the specs. This is a two-phase motor, as you can tell right there. And here are the specs on it. I don't know if you want to see it or not, but I don't really see anything. So, and to show you, this is a four wire motor. So if I just momentarily hit power on this thing. You can see right away that this is spinning the opposite way, which if it's spinning the opposite way, you get lack of airflow. And even right in the center, there should be a lot of air being rushed into here, but there's like next to nothing in here. So this thing is spinning the opposite way. You can see the belts are going up. So to change the phase rotation on here, you can either do two ways. One, you can take these two leads and put them over here and vice versa, put these over here. Or what I'm gonna do is you take this, this lead right here, take number one, put on number two, and number two over to number one. That'll also change the rotation as well. I'm gonna do that right now, but I gotta find something I can make a tripod out of. Seconds. Okay, so here I am, I'm over at the disconnect. And what I'm gonna do now is just before I play with the leads and stuff, let's make sure. So let's go over to one and two, this is on the hot side, and I get 240. And if I go over to three and four, I get 240 as well. So if I go to one and three, you can see I get 172 and one to four, I also get 172. But if I go over three, four, you get 240. So over here, I should get the same thing. Yep. And then if I go to one to ground, you can tell I got 120 on all the leads. Like so. So that means the, this two, this is one phase, and this is the other phase right here. So make sure down here, make sure that we're dead. I've got four, which is like next to nothing. And I got three going to ground. I pretty much got like next to nothing. So I like to say that we are in the clear. So I can put that away. And now let's proceed to actually changing this out. So let's unscrew these two right here. So you take, pop the leads out, then you just Move it over. Well, I'm gonna move this one over so I can get a little bit more slack, like so. And then this is a little bit of a struggle. This old wire does not like to move at all. Tighten that down. And move that in. Send that one home. Okay, and there we go. All right, and there we go. Leads are switched, close this up, and I should be able to hit this and it should start rotating in the right way. Oh, door just closed, and I can actually feel a difference in air. Let's uh, shut it off just to make sure. Oh yeah, look at that. Real feeler coming out. And the belt's going down. And we are going in the right direction. So this thing's uh, good to go. Hopefully you learned something out of this. And uh, if you did, make sure you leave a comment and let me know if you work on this type of stuff. How often do you work on two-phase motors and stuff? I do read your comments, so I'll be more than happy to read your stories or just whatever. So thanks for watching and tune in next time for another video.